Yes, it's a pottery wheel. I made it for my wife last year at Christmas time. And uh works fine. There's nothing wrong with it other than the fact that hold on, bear with me for a sec. Other than the fact that it uh doesn't turn slow enough. So I kinda turn it on its side here so you can see what it looks like. Sorry about that. So I got a motor down there. The uh, fully off the main motor is off right now because I had to go size up something else. So it, I did a reduction. As you can see, I had a smaller pulley there and a bigger pulley here to make this turn slower. But it didn't turn it slow enough. I'm gonna put a pillow bearing in there with a shaft that goes all the way through to the table and then on this side I got a it's sort of like a um, triac I guess slows the motor down but the motor is a clutch drive so you can only go down so far and it shuts off so what I've done I've done some research on the internet and I got a hold of a called a Zero Max this is a 400 to zero so you turn this, you see the small motor going, you turn the main drive, doesn't matter which way you turn it, it goes the same direction, counterclockwise. This little guy, you turn this wheel here, and you can see that little little tab moving back there. When that tab comes all the way back to here, this can turn as fast as it wants, this won't move. So you can actually adjust the amount of speed you can get out of this uh, by using this wheel. So, which turns this? It just makes that go back and forth. So, in essence, what this means is, instead of trying to control the speed of the table by reducing the speed of the motor electrically, which actually drops the motor off to the point where it actually shuts off before it gets to the desired speed, I can run the motor at 1800 or 1725 full blast and then mechanically turn it down slow without affecting the motor at all. So the mechanical advantage to this is it doesn't crap the motor out. So I have to make this, this fit into that <laughs> so that it works. Hmm. I will. It's just a matter of me uh, coming up with the right idea. So I gotta cut my cut my shaft. I have another one of these um, pillow bearings. Are these uh, not pillow bearings? That's pillow bearing. This is um, uh, uh, adapter to go from the shaft to the main plate. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the inside or not. But anyway, I got a I got a couple of them in the bag over here. This was the pulley that I did the reduction from. So that slides over the shaft and you can bolt whatever you want to it. So what I'm doing with this is I'm uh, reducing the size of that hole from this side shaft with a bushing to increase the size of this shaft so it fits into here and that goes on there and then this is going to be married up to the plate on the top deck up there so as you can see I have a lot of ideas to deal with today so I've been pondering with my Larson pipe and we started the Chaga game again because it's getting close to winter and I'm trying something new Virginia Flake. 
break cut. I went through some here a little while ago. Different kind of flake. Uh, it was Virginia though, and it was really quite good. So, I've got a fire on in the house, and I was going to put a fire on here in the shop. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys that. I might not have. What am I up to? I don't want to be a robot. Once well, I have five minutes, so I'm cutting her off there. So, that's what I'm up to today. And, uh, hope you guys are having a really good weekend, because I know I am. Take care, guys.